not everything is as it seems. And if you keep getting fake emails, then keep watching whilst we explain how to spot the fakes. We've seen an increase in British Gas fake emails, MS fake emails, TalkTalk, Talk, and even PayPal fake emails. So I've asked Microsoft MVP award winner Robert Pearman to explain how to spot the fakes. Hi, my name is Rob, and I work on the IT Authority Help Desk. If you receive an email and you're not sure if it's spam, you can ask yourself three questions. Who sent me this message? Why did they send me this message? And what action do they want me to take? Nearly all spam will want you to open an attachment or click on a link, and you need to be 100% sure you trust the message before you do. If we look at our first example, we can see the sender name here, Hayward Johnson, doesn't match the email address of Shirley Barr. The domain name, Buig Telecom, is a French telecom company. Now I haven't done any work for a French telecoms company, I haven't bought any services from a French telecoms company. So I don't know why they would be emailing me. If we look at the content of the email, we can see that they're sending us an invoice. What they've left out of the email is their company number, their address and their phone number. This message is deliberately ambiguous in order to get you to open this Word document attachment. So let's look at our second example. I don't recognise the sender name or the company name here. Uh, and if we move down to why did they send me this message, they're looking to send me an urgent invoice. But again, they haven't left any information in here about their company. They're leaving this very ambiguous in order to, to push us towards opening this zip file attachment. Now zip file attachments are a very common way of spreading uh, malware, viruses, that sort of thing. So you should be very suspicious about ever opening a zip file attachment. For that reason, this is a spam message. So we're going to look at our last example here. It appears to have come from PayPal. And it's telling us our account has been limited. So what they want us to do is click on a link to try and unlock our account. If we look at some of the formatting of this message, it doesn't match here. Uh, there's a mistake here with question marks instead of PayPal. And if we hover over this link, we can see that it's trying to take us to a website called securityupdate.com. So that's not a PayPal address. Uh, and if we apply our first question, who sent me this message, we can see very quickly that this hasn't come from PayPal at all, and it is indeed a spam message. The last thing I want to show you is the best response you can give to any spam message you receive. It's as simple as that. Now if you found this video useful then please subscribe to the channel now. Make sure you don't miss any of our future content. We release videos every Tuesday and Thursday. We have a list of 10 top tips for increasing the speed of your computer. Why not check that list out? But most of all subscribe and we'll see you the next time around. In the meantime, thanks for taking the time to watch.